guys, welcome to a very, very special little series that I'm going to be starting here today. Uh, as you guys know, we, uh, <laughs> we... <laughs> oh man, sorry about that, people. I had to seize. I was waiting for it to pass, but like, did a long, gigantic pause, which is weird. So, anyways, guys, um, I tallied up all your votes about what the next series you guys got me to. That you guys gave me all these very interesting answers. I'll probably be into implementing them very, very soon here through different series. And once one series ends, I'll probably go get to that series and do all that kind of things. And um, I guess I'll just tell you the vote results. Um, you guys are very sporadic about what you guys wanted. Like some of you guys. Um, basically said very specifically what you guys wanted. Some of you guys just very much vaguely said what you guys wanted, but, um, I generally just counted how many, what was the amount of games you want me to play for this particular game, what did you want me to play for this particular game, and just counted the votes like that. Okay? And then from there, after I did that, I looked at who won, and then I would go in individual looks and see, like, how did everything work, how did you guys all look, and everything like that. But anyways, it turned out you guys wanted me to do a Victoria 2 series, which I was not shocked about. That was like the most voted on thing and the most agreed upon everything. You guys seriously want me to still do Victoria 2 stuff? Yeah, I understand. I'll keep doing Victoria 2 stuff. Victoria 2 is my favorite Paradox game. Okay, of course I'm going to do of course I'm going to do Victoria 2. It is like the yeah, it's literally my game. It's my Paradox game. So, yes, of course I'm going to keep doing that. Um, you guys also voted for a, um, now this, this becomes a kind of controversial part, because, um, the next one, the second place winner, which should have been this series, its spot, is EU4. The, and the only reason why, and there's a reason why I did not choose EU4, and that is because that the new expansion pack, Wealth of Nations, is literally coming out very, very soon. So, I thought that if I started a series now, I'd literally have, like, a couple days to like do it and then you know everything would change you know I could have this massive alliance with like some people and then all of a sudden it's all changed everything's all new and all these new features are added and everything you know it just becomes this big gigantic you know crushing of saves especially if I was to try it on Iron Man mode it could potentially destroy us plus you know all the new features are going to add so much new stuff that the game's going to be almost unrecognizable and you guys know me like you guys know me you know I don't build up a fleet <laughs> I forget about it almost every single game I mean, it, it really is not intentional, but I forget about it every single time. So, like, the expansion patch is mainly dealing with navels and sh navy and ships and, you know, privateers and mercantilism. Yeah. It's going to be bad for me, because I just get into the game and all of a sudden I have, like, 70 privateers on my shore and I can't do anything about it. So, yeah. I'm sorry to say I'm going to hold off on doing EU4 series until after the expansion pack came out. But don't worry, guys, I will do an EU4 Let's Play, and most likely it's going to be with um, Byzantium. So be hyped for that. Now, the next one after that was the game. The next game you guys wanted me to choose was one of the World War II games. And what I mean by that is that you guys either wanted me to play as Heart, as Heart of Iron 3, or you guys wanted me to play as Darkest Hour. Both World War II games just set in different era. Now, since I'm kind of a uh, person of the latter that thinks that Darkest Hour and Hearts of Iron 2 were a much superior game, um, I kind of tried to do a let's, I tried to do a kind of recording section with that, because it was kind of like the third most popular voted franchise, and it didn't quite work. It flatly failed, and it was just like, uh, because for some reason the codecs and things didn't quite agree, I mean, I tried it on different software too, and tried to like record it differently. Didn't quite work, didn't quite do anything, could not record it. So now we get to this game, Hearts of Iron 3. A game I've literally spent less than 10 hours on. I mean, and I'll give you an example. Comparatively, people, I spend about 100 hours on almost all my grand strategy games. I spend 100 hours on, um, you know, the... I've spent 100 hours on, civil, you know, Civilization. I, sp I spent 100 hours on... Um, Let's see, I'm just looking down my Steam list. I spent 100 hours on Darkest Hour. I spent, literally, EU4, I spent 117 hours. Uh, let's see, uh, March of the Eagles, I spent a little bit more. Mountain Blade, I spent 119 hours on. And, of course, Victoria 2, I'm up to almost 
Wow, I'm almost up to 500k with Victoria 2. That is awesome. But with this game, it is probably my least played strategic game out there. I literally have less than 10 hours on this. It's even less than my March of the Eagles game, which, as you guys know, I did not particularly like that game either and thought it was kind of boring. So, you can only tell my feelings for this game are not exactly running high. But, you know... I saw some of my friends playing the game and, fi and fi finally said and finally saw that, you know, them enthusiastically saying that they, you know, them playing the game and showing how they played it and how all this kind of stuff. And I finally just gave in and said, all right, you know what? I'm going to give this game another shot. One more time to try to impress me to see if this is actually worth my time. Okay. So this is a let's play I'm going to put up and we're going to see if I liked it in the end or if I hated it in the end. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully I'll like it in the end, but most likely not. And if you guys want to know the main reason why I do not like this game, it's not because of the whole in-depthness of like the technology, politics, and intelligence. In fact, that's fine. I don't really care about that kind of stuff. I think it adds a different, like, areas of, well, areas of game mechanics that other games have not tried before. What I usually have trouble with is the troop movement. And this is like the main crucial part, especially for World War II. I do not like the HQ system. I think it's one of the most retarded systems that's ever been implemented in terms of a grand strategy game. I know many people are going to be like, it's so realistic and so original and going to be like defending it with all the gas. I don't get it. I think it's much easier just to move in one troop at a time to go conquer stuff. Okay? That is my main issue with it. And with that, we can get past that and actually get to the game. So, the nation that you guys want. So, I looked inside the votes of HU3. H HOI 3, and you guys mainly want me to play as a Republican Spain and try to like free myself and go kick and go ally myself with either Germany or the common turn. Uh, and you know what? I thought that was an interesting idea, so I'm going to choose uh, the, so the uh, Republican Spain and I'm going to try to join the Soviet Union. So let's get into the game. I don't believe I'm going to have to cut away because the loading screens in this are actually not that bad comparatively to like Victoria 2 and EU 4. So, I guess it's one point for this. Oh, wait, never mind. We have to come back. Okay. No, wait, never mind. It seems like it actually loaded up as soon as I clicked out. So, we're still in this game, everyone. So, guys, we are Republican Spain. We are the mighty Spanish Empire. Not of old, but we are still the mighty Spanish Empire. And we are here to do a couple things. Um, One thing to note... Is, is that the most important event that usually happens with Spain is the Spanish Civil War. And the Spanish Civil War is going to come up really, really soon. So we have to really be prepared for this. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say everything. So yeah, and in terms of how I'm going to control the game, I believe that I'm going to set AI to like mostly everything. I'm going to set them research, going to set them to politics, uh, going to set them into intelligence. Just because I just don't feel bothered to actually do all that. I'm sorry. I just don't feel bothered, and I'm going to just focus mainly on my troops. So, anyways, these are the Spanish troops. This is the setup that we have so far. It's okay, I guess. And what we're going to instantly do is set this to our automatic defenses. And um, when we have the opportunity, we're going to go and go declare war on Lisbon. Go conquer this and go conquer that. Production-wise, we want to make sure that we're not producing anything right now. Because if I remember correctly from my days of of being a Hearts of Iron 2 person, you don't you should really care more about how your production is going. Or well, not your production, your Oh, we prepare for war, yay! Peace is boring. Totally agree with that. You should honestly care more about your supplies and your consumer goods. Let's see. Consumer goods, supplies, and uh reinforcements were the most important things from my days of Hearts of Iron 2 and if I remember correctly, they didn't really change that much about this game, which about that part of the system, which is good. Because that system was honestly awesome. And let's see, everyone's moving to the corners, everyone's kind of getting to their places. Let's see, how's the hierarchy going right now? It looks pretty bad. Because for some reason, all the troops are moving into different places and just doing all this stuff. Already? Wow! Huh. I didn't even make it a month in that we already have the event. Okay. So... I was going to wait until afterwards to do this, but apparently we're starting the Spanish Civil War right now, people. Literally right now. So let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to de-click this, send all my army. Yeah, wait, wait, go. There we go. 
sent all my army that's on this continent all the way to the south. Why? Because usually I can deal I can't deal with the south. I mean, usually what will happen is that the nationalist Spanish will usually spawn right about here and right about here. And usually what happens I can usually I can't usually deal with this part unless I deal with I can't really deal with this part at all. Because usually what happens is that these two usually pinch me up and try to cross me out. And let's just say this. I've done a scenario a hundred times. That five hours I just told you about was mostly me just trying to figure out how to beat this scenario, okay? So I've literally just trained myself into just learning how to beat this scenario. While wow, we even they even got the Spanish Civil War even before like we even had our elections. Wow. Such unrude rebels, but yeah. Basically, I am all ready for, you know, this conquest and everything. And I basically trained myself to figure out how the best way to fight the nationalist Spain is. And the best way I figured out is that you need to first destroy this part of their holdings, and then you go over here and start fighting them over there. You could easily destroy them if they're over here. Okay, and let's see, once my men all group up, let's see, where are they right now? I uh, probably should gain Grenada. Because I hate Grenada. Grenada is an annoying province to deal with. Okay, let's just group all you guys. Alright. And by the way, this is kind of a cheat I'm doing right now. Is that I'm not clicking the button. Because if I click the button right now, then I'm going to activate the event. Which means that I'm going to have to fight a bunch of troops. I'm right now just basically keeping the box open right now. So that I can get my troops into position. It's kind of cheap. I know. Don't, don't tell me anyone that's kind of cheap. But... It's really the only way I found so far that you can beat this event. Like, I'm sorry to say, like, this is the only way I found so far to beat the event. And I guess it's not technically cheating because the Spanish Civil War should not happen yet. I mean, it should literally not happen in the first 23 days of a game. So it's not technically cheating because I don't believe you should have an event that fires literally at the very beginning of the game. Especially one that basically turns your empire into a gigantic cluster. Yeah. So... Let's just get all of our troops grouped up, and then once they're all grouped up and kind of in good positions, okay, we have to give them a second, because all of our troops are kind of idiots sometimes, okay, there we go, there we, wait, 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 we still got these guys, still got these guys, once these guys are done, okay, and, and, I'm still saying and, there we go, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy back onto attacking stance. We're going to do attacking stance, attacking offensive, and attacking naval offensive. So what he's going to do is he's going to quickly move all of his troops out. Okay. And. Oh, wow. The event actually fired before I was ready. Hmm. That usually never happens. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're instantly going to say for our main HQ. Where's our main HQ? You guys, I want you guys, no, you guys, I want you guys to conquer these places right here. I don't care about the rest. Okay. Wait. Hey, guys, go conquer here. Wait, why isn't it setting waypoints? Okay, um, we might need to be a little bit into the game. Slow down just a little bit. Destroy them. Destroy them. Hey guys, yeah, you aren't going to win that, I'm pretty sure. So let's see, the majority of them spawned like... Yay, Soviet intervention! That's why you're my favorite, Soviets. Like, seriously, that's why you're my favorite. Okay, in fact, I better do this now while I'm still thinking about it. Ally to faction. That way we have the utmost time to uh, start going towards the communist party. Because we do it for Comrade Stalin and Comrade... Comrade Marx. Alright, and let's see. Uh, right now, I'm trying to set waypoints. For some reason, it's clicking on the province, which is annoying me. Uh, I just literally sent waypoints just a second ago. Uh, these guys are the overall leaders of this campaign, so I'm pretty sure they should be able to do all this. And let's see, my troops are all moving out. Okay. There we go. Now it's setting waypoints. Yes, please conquer all this part over here. Once you guys conquer all that part, then we can start like dealing with all this over here. And let's see, we already have some troops over here that disconnected from the main attacking force. Exactly what I want. I want you guys to go over here, go start conquering this. I want you guys to go over here and go stop these... Wait, first off, group up. I can't group them up because they're too big of a unit. Okay, well then just go over here. We're going to go stop this unit right there. 
from invading. Also, let's see. Hey, you guys. Take this. Hey, wait, wait. Before you guys leave, destroy this massive amount of men just stranded here. Okay? Before you guys leave... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Before I get, before you guys get underneath my control, you guys, go right here. Destroy these guys. Destroy all of their men. Okay? Because they literally, that's all their men just right there grouped up into one. So if we can destroy all those guys, we basically win the game. Right there, right now. So destroy all this massive amount of troops. Okay? Please tell me you guys will be able to do it. Please tell me you guys will be able to do it. Don't tell me you guys are going to be wusses. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, also make sure that reinforcements is at full max. Supplies is at full max. Uh, make sure consumer goods is at what we need to be. And let's see, we are slowly being taken over by this retreat. I don't want you guys to be killed. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Okay, you guys move in. Try to take over that. Um, you guys are already controlled by someone. So let's see, you guys move in right there. So yeah, they beat me. I can't exactly defeat them because my troops are really just insanely terrible. So just go back to what my previous strategy was. Take all of this land. If you guys find an opening, take all that. I don't even care about the southern front. Just go where you guys need to go. Do attacking stance and go right here. Alright. You guys move in right there. Take Tangiers. And let's see. This over here has been lost to us. That's not good because usually... One of the ways you can tell if who's winning the Spanish Civil War is by whoever controls the colonies. Whoever controls the colonies, you usually can tell who's going to win the war. Let's see. We have the majority of our troops stranded over here, not really moving. Because they don't actually have anyone to move to. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is take this opportunity to start combining some of these guys. Because, yeah, because I can. Just move them around. Let's just do that. Yeah. Everyone go. Go, go, go. Yeah, just everyone go. Go, go. Let's see. You guys also not grouped up. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see. I need... Yeah, just not group up anyone. Let's see. Can I combine this unit? No, it's too big. All right, well, let's see. You guys go right here. Yeah, I know. My escort's not going to be exactly the most friendly people for a little bit. Okay, you guys... Okay, let's see. Do I have a disconnected troop over here? Okay. No, just... Hey, guys, stop. Just go right there. <laughs> we don't need to be fancy with this. Just go right there and then go back here and then go back there. Then go crush this unit. I mean, really don't need to be fancy with this, people. I mean, it doesn't take that much to conquer these guys. All right, now combine this unit so it makes it more powerful. Yeah, for some reason, they the Spanish troops have all their units really set up in a weird way where they're all really not that goodly produced at the beginning. So, we're going to combine a couple of these and make them more powerful. They just lost. Wow. That makes me feel really happy. We just destroyed most of this, the National Spanish Army. So, we're doing good. We're doing really good right now. Uh, now, we just have to contend with this part of the Spanish Army. Hey, you guys. Go right here. Just go right there. You know, because these guys are going to be annoying and kind of just keep moving us back. Okay. Then, let's see. You guys combine. Okay. Uh, you guys... But you guys should have an extra unit in you. Okay. No, wait, no, wait. Wait until these guys... Once these guys are all done with their combining, then I'm going to go send them out and going to go fight more men. Okay. Right now, I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Even if they take even if they take my main capital, I'm pretty sure we're doing pretty good. Like, we just destroyed most of their big, gigantic armies. Um, we're almost to their capital, and we literally haven't done anything of note yet. Uh... Okay, let's see. And now I just need to get my army all strong so that they'd be much more powerful as a force of reckon with. Let's see. You guys have absolutely no troops under you. So let's see. You guys are the first division. So let's see. First division, you guys, you'll get two units. Okay, two units. Uh, we'll also give you, uh, you know, you guys are already like geared up to somebody else. All right. I'll give you guys to... Let's see, I'll give you guys to this HQ right here. What's this HQ? The 7A. Alright, so let's see. 7A, you guys are going to get some new troops. Let's see, 7A. 7A. Uh, 7A. There we go. You guys are geared up towards this. You guys should be geared up towards... Yes, you guys are. 
Let's see, you guys are get up towards who? Don't tell me you guys have who you guys get up to. Hopefully not towards the main command, because I don't really need that right about now. Um, uh, ele no, 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 no. I don't need you guys in electoral Africa. That's not a good way to organize this. Organize there. Oh, I only have four HQs? Oh, well, thank you guys for watching. This has been the first episode of my HOI 3 campaign with the Spanish Empire. Or Re Republican Spain, as they like to be known as. Anyways, see you guys next episode.